one, we are at Merida. Merida is one of the oldest towns, dates right back to the Roman period. It's got the largest collection of Roman remains anywhere in Spain. And it's been really nice. Uh, we are on the brand new air that's been developed. It's 28 spaces inside, uh, 30 outside that are unsupported. Inside you've got showers, toilets, there is a laundry going in. You've got two big service pints. It's got electric cook-up. It's a big open space. There's a little picnic and table area. And it's, yeah, it's really nice. Hard standing, all level. Very clean at the moment, and at the moment it's free. Don't know what the costs will be later. Very it's complicated. Uh, yeah, let's come around. Uh, she's, ooh, she's going in my pocket for my keys. Um, yeah, automated system booking in isn't too bad if you're English. It seems that English are getting faster than everybody else. Lucky us. Um, but yeah, you pay to you book to park and then all your individual services are on top so eventually you'll probably pay just for what you need and what not pay for what you don't want so you need a ticket to use the showers and then you need a different ticket to access the service point and you need to tell them if you want electric hookup so if you just book in and drive in nothing will work for you you have been warned but it's a nice big air as I say getting very busy now there is a market on Tuesdays, which is directly opposite on the base ground. So if you arrive on a Tuesday, you might have access troubles getting in because they do like to park as they please. But yeah, it's been really good. Lots and lots of space, as you can see. Loads of vans behind us, lots and lots. There is a railway line behind us. Oh, yeah. We only heard one train go through since we've been Yeah, it's very, very slow. There is a railway line. I'll, I'll turn you around and you can have a look at that. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> right. So yes, you can see the stanchions for the railway line. They are very low, they're very slow, they're not rushing through at high speed and they stop at night so we haven't heard anything. But we're going to go and look for... Romans. Romans. I had a little mooch out last night but we're going to go and have a good look yeah, today. went on his scooter with his hand. Live a little, flip the page, give me some more, getting out of my way. I was hiding, bulletproof, forever waiting, thanking you. I thought I was what I told you. I thought I was what I told you. Marching in, I thought I was what I've been told. I thought I was. I thought I was what I've been told. I thought I was.
afternoon everyone. We've had a little wander around Merida. Uh, we saw some sights. I think the next time we come back, and we'll, no, no doubt we will come back, we'll actually go in and actually take turns in visiting the various archaeological and Roman remains. But it's been a bit too hot to be having the dogs sat outside waiting for us. Um, because I'll show you in a minute what state she's in. You know, people say don't take your dogs to the hot countries, they don't like it. But we're just having a little beer in a nice bar in the main square. Got to behave because the police are inside drinking a coffee. Helen's there, looking glamorous as normal. <laughs> very glamorous. Yeah, look, she's backlit. I've got to be careful, don't want to be recording. It's Mahalo. Yeah, the Palitzi. Yeah. yeah, but it's been nice, we've had a nice time. And I if like you're worried, here. yeah, you like it here. I like it here. I'd like it even more if, uh, if we could have actually seen more of the Roman archaeology. But, you but know. what did they do with the main amphitheatre? Well, they fenced it off. Put a big fence around it, and not only that, but covered it in bushes so you couldn't see through. But we managed to see through, and this is a warning about taking your dogs to hot countries. She has, we tried to keep her in the shade, but she, she has all the, the options to be looked to be in the shade. We're sat in the shade, and she's extended the lead out as far as possible to go and sunbathe. It's about 22 degrees in the shade, so I'm going to say full sun temperatures are in, approaching the high 20s, maybe low 30s. Silly dog. With a little flip the page, give us some more, getting out of my way. I was hiding, bulletproof, forever waiting, then came you. Trying to figure out I was going through changes Where to begin When a mountain moving revelation came Marching in I thought I was what I Told I thought I was 